I can't do anything about that on the carrier side, sir. I really can't. We can definitely take care of things on my end at Nike. But as far as the carrier, I can't make the carrier do anything. I can't tell them that they they took it. Like, I know you took it. Like, you know. No, no, I ain't they saying like that. that. Now, we being funny, but I'm just saying, like, say I stole something. Like, I, I work logistics. Um, If I stole something from my job, oh, it's going to be like an investigation. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just going to be, oh, all right. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Wavy. I ain't noticed my channel, Mr. Orchard Beach. If you're new to the channel, you haven't hit the subscribe button yet. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment. All the above. Hey man, before we get into this vid, do me a favor, let me get 400 likes on this joint. Where? And two things before we get into it. Drink of the day. You guessed it. Six points by resin. No, resin by six points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's that 9.1. Higher the alcohol content, the happier I am. Is that right? Salud. All right, I also got a package in before we get into the, you know what I'm saying, that big boy. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> This was actually sent to me from my homeboy. Shout out to my homie D out in Iraq. Be safe out there, bro. Yo, this came from um, We Are Little Giants. My man got my junior right with the, huh? Huh? Got him right with the diaper set, you know? I've yet to change any. But yeah, man, yo, this joint, this joint cool right here, man. Like I said, this is from Little Giants, Giant Shorties. I just got this joint in, like, right before I started shooting this video. Uh, let y'all see the joint again, man. Yo, this joint is nice right here. I told you I'm getting those damn uh, UNC Chicago for Junior. You know what I'm saying? Throw some jeans over because you ain't just gonna be legs out. But we're gonna throw some jeans over there. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> or hell yeah. So, yo, appreciate that again, fam. Anyway, man, enough of the bullshit. Let's get into it. Turn up the base. Oh, hope that worked, because what? Can't do it again. <laughs> Make sure y'all see no. Okay, cool. Hey man, before I open this joint up, you gonna see another vid that was supposed to be the vid before this. Man, ordered these joints about a week ago. And I'm not gonna get into the whole full spill, but you're gonna end up hearing the whole full spill. Nah, but um, yo, bro, these joints were supposed to go to like this other location. This just was like lost in the sauce. I thought niggas got me for these joints. I just said, damn, you know, and I, I was really running around looking for these joints, man. And it ain't here. The FedEx up in um Mount Vernon, they had it like they never even seen the package, like uh, come in, like no scan. Huh. They said it was door tag, it wasn't. Nike told me, yeah, or FedEx said, yeah, go up to, yeah, go get that. They wasn't there. Yo, I've been going through it back and forth, and I was like, yo, I finally gave up, man. Yo, tell me what this is. I just said damn and I felt real bad. And I'm gonna get into I'll get into the reason why I felt real bad later, but uh well in a minute, but damn, but yo, I finally got these. So anyway, I'm chilling. I'm about to do this other vid about these joints got stolen and I get a phone call. Who the fuck is this? Anonymous number. I don't really pick up those and not well, I don't pick up numbers without a call ID. So I picked it up, it was like Bronxville, so I like Bronxville. I like, all right, let's see. It's thank you. Um I forget your name, but uh <laughs> from uh FedEx. She called me and she was like, uh, she said, yo, they left it at the bodega. I said, what? You know what I'm saying? So you finally telling me like uh, a carrier actually did what I asked them to do because I always put them, I, I got a, a sign when it's time to give me a delivery and I'm not going to be here, leave it at the bodega. Sometimes they don't do it. Or if I get it um, sent to at the job, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. It's going to come to the job, but they hold it for a day at some other spot. And they, uh, it's like, yo, come on, man. But anyway, man, they here. Let's get into it. Damn. Nah, I'm just playing. You walk up and down the street all day playing. So check this out, y'all already know these the off-whites. So the box has two white circular holes. That's just in the front, I'm seeing more, let's see. So there's holes pretty much like all over this box. Word, uh, about two, five, seven, eight, whatever. It's holes, it's holy. Holy moly guacamole, word up. All right, take to the front of the box, Air Jordan 5 Retro SP, men's size 11. Yes, that's size 11. All right. So, um, the reason I was very upset about this uh, package not being delivered, like I said, is for my homie, the one that got me, uh, got my junior the uh, the diaper set. It was like a trade. He got the diaper set. I got, nah, I was like, nah, man, my homie ain't one of these joints. And I, I told him, he asked me, he's like, yo, can you hold me down? I was like, yeah. I even had like a couple other cats um, go on they uh, sneakers app and... I was surprised when I saw that joint hit myself. My heart dropped, and I was like, you motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really, nah, I'm just playing. Nah, man, yo, I was just hyped that he could get these joints, and he know he been going through the bullshit with me too, cause I was like, yo, homie, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I finally was able to um, look out for him, and you know, this is for my, for my homeboy, word up. Us, man, us. 
We go back to that um the high school days or the yeah the high school days. That's when we um really like 11th grade when uh what when the teacher uh separate y'all, but then you end up like popping it like you know what I'm saying like it don't matter. And uh, I remember even before that he's had these big Panamanian boys. His parents he's had these big Panamanian parties. His mother can cook like a mother. Word. Uh, but uh yo these big parties they'd be leftover beer. So I would um I was in like 10th grade. I go down there drink a few beers and bust that ass at basketball. Word. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> anyway, yo, so no paper on this joint. This is straight plastic right here. It says uh 2020 off white, few other things that who cares about. And then you got the black jump man right there. Prop Joe these joints up. Alright, so uh first looks, yeah. This is um this is pretty much what I did expect. Looks like a dissected Air Jordan 5 minus the padding. Well, with the padding, but just minus that plush. Uh, padding and it looks like you know an unfinished product. I do like the concept though. It's pretty it's pretty straight and the colorway the colorway is pretty cool. They do have a sale colorway coming out pretty soon which you know that joint looks nice too. Uh, won't be helping you out on those homes. Hey you can forget that shit. I think I've changed my mind about selling my ones to get these. I think I'm cool. I believe the sneaker is based off the metallic fives. I heard somewhere that um, Virgil, like he, he he loves the fives and shit, just like my homeboy do. But um, you know, tweets his own. Yeah, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool with the uh, Jordan ones that I got. And, but these joints are nice. They would definitely turn some heads. And I see I've seen some videos on where people are um, pop like um, cutting the holes out. I'm gonna see what that looks like. So, but all right. Anyway, yo, let's just get into this uh, review right quick. Bam, we'll take it to the sole. Air Jordan Five sole is pre-yellow, Nike lettering in the middle of the sole. Red Jump Man at the top of the sole. I heard people say that they didn't like the yellow it, but mm, you know, I, I dig it. All right, we're gonna take it to the medial side. Uh, you can see some of that yellow sole right there. The upper is black. You got your air unit right here that's yellow as well. Then you got that gray speckled area right here. Take to the upper. It's a grayish military type mesh material. I mean, I felt this before on like military issue clothing or gear. Sorry, TA50 word to be exact. All right, moving up, you got that clear plastic webbing right here. You got the off-white writing underneath. Jordan 5, Beaverton, Oregon, USA in white lettering. Few more other words, I ain't gonna get in all that. Don't show. Now take it up around the ankles. You got that little see-through hole right here that we'll cut out later. Take it to the lateral side. The side that gets all the shine. Uh, same as the medial side, you can see the sole, that yellowing going on. You got that black midsole right here with that yellow see-through air unit. Gray and black speckled shark teeth right here. Moving on up, you got that webbing with the little hole. 23 stitch lettering in gray. Around the ankle, you got that little see-through circular shape again, we'll cut out later. Take the toe box. The upper is really the same all around the sneaker. That uh, mesh, kind of scratchy material. Working your way up to the tongue, you got that webbing right here. Yellow lace lock holder with Nike lettering, as well as the red lace lock. I like that joint right there, for real. Patented but not patented, Jordan 5 reflective tongue. The left tongue has the hole cut out. I like how it sits. It's kind of, I don't know. Um, I ain't gonna say it's crazy high, but I, I do like how it sits. But the tongue, uh, the difference between this and the regular tongue, other than, you know, obviously you got the hole right there. Uh, that we don't have to cut out. It's not that puffy tongue. Pause. There's none of that plush in this sneaker. Last part about the tongue that really sets it off. You got that red Jumpman logo right there. In the shoelaces, you got that off-white zip tie. I think the CO means care of. The Nike lettering, 2020 zip tie. You got the Made in China tag right here. It's on both. You don't need this on. Take it to the ash. Pause, all right? Got that Nike Air lettering right there in white. You damn sure needed that. Her. So on the back of the sneaker, you see the yellow sole, black midsole right there. We already talked about the Nike Air lettering and the swoosh. And then you got the upper. Pretty much this whole sneaker is wrapped in that mesh. Since these ain't mine, you know I pulled the insole out. Get them out of there! You get some black insole, um, red Nike Air lettering. And behind the tongue, Air Jordan lettering in red, but it doesn't have like the whole word Air Jordan. It kind of like cuts off after the D. Pause. The right tongue has the full Air Jordan lettering. It comes stocked with black laces. You see it says shoelaces in white lettering. It comes with two other pairs of laces, off-white shoelace, 
with shoelaces with black and black lettering. And you got the red shoelaces with shoelaces and white lettering. You got the three plastic slots on each side. And that's what I wish the Fresh Prince 5 came with. My own boy be like, nah, you know, cause he rocked it, you know, without the laces. Yeah, but give me the same choice we'll have. Look, I don't have none and I don't need none. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah. But, um, nah, man, I do like these. The sole kind of reminds me of the Wolf Grey joints. And I know um a few people was telling me, like, my joints was cooked. And I didn't know what they was talking about. Cause I was like, nah, my joints is right. But they was talking about the yellowing. But I'm cool with that joint. Like, these pretty much... I'm not gonna say they pretty much look like a, a Wolf Grey 5 at all, but that sole, it, it reminds me of the Wolf Greys. The upper kind of reminds me of the 3M that came in that pack, the Raging Bull pack. That's what the upper kind of reminds me of. So um, I'm gonna find out whatever laces my homeboy don't want, I'm gonna take them and I'll be rocking my, uh, my joints with that. I don't know about that. You already know, man, if I missed anything, my bad. I believe these holes should be taken out just so you can see like what socks you're rocking. I'm only gonna do one because they're his sneak. I'm going to just take out this joint right here. I know you're supposed to use another type of knife, but I mean, I figured you, you'll get it. Oh, f <laughs> I've heard people say that they don't like these joints and mainly like about the, the yellowing and these are like off-white so it's kind of like they're made to have this different look and you know it's to each his own. Would I sell my ones or make an even trade of my ones for these? Um, Would I do an even trade? Yes. Yes I would because I'm still not that hype on that colorway or how, how, they, how they did it. So I think I would, but I'm not really not in a, in a rush to do that. Like I, I think I'm cool with my off-white ones, you know? Oh, check you out. Anybody that's been saying that these joints are whack and stuff, I would really want to see their sneakers app and I would give them the utmost respect if they didn't go for these joints. If you didn't go for them at all and they whack, cool. You know, cause nah, they, I mean, these ain't like the, the best Jordan fives, like it not. If you didn't go for them and they whack, cool. But if you went for them and you, uh, and nah, you know, hell nah, you know, you ain't trying to hear all that. Now, yeah, they different. And you really got to come with it when you rock these joints. Sneaks like this, when you rock them, it's all about the sneak. You ain't trying to have the outfit like overshadow this joint. Just like all Jordan fives, these joints are gonna crease. I just think like the more you wear these joints, it's gonna really take on a nice character. But I won't get into all that, man, because I'm starting to sound like one of those all. Uh, people that really study the sneaks, you know what I'm saying? It's all about rocking these joints with some with some socks to break up the monotony, you know what I'm saying? And all that. But anyway, yo, I'm just happy I can get these from my homeboy. I'm sending these joints out when I get back from DR. Nah, no, I'll send them out, um, send them out ASAP to you, boy. Don't call me a boy, please. So anyway, man, uh, let me get 400 likes on this joint. Appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. Uh, I already talked in my last video what I'm getting next, but just give me a little some of this, you know? One thing I do want to ask before I get out of here, would you have done the same thing for one of your homeboys? Like, gave him the oop, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't even no charge. Let me tell you, I even you got my military discount on these. And at first, he was like, yo, so it was 225 plus that. And I was like, yeah. Then I thought about it, I was like, oh, shit. nah, I ain't even gonna put it like that. I did some soul searching. And I said, you know what? I said, nah, man, that's my man's. And I ain't trying to get nothing over on him, like at all. Even though I know he wouldn't have no problem paying the 200, you know what I'm saying? I said, nah. You know, you get the same you get the same price I do. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but back in 2003, you don't get the same price. Huh? <laughs> anyway, man, that's for another time. Oh, um, I'm about to get up out of here. Y'all already know. Follow me on that Snap. Follow me on that IG. Follow me on that Twitter. That Twitter B. Get that snaps. It's your boy Wavy. I ain't noticed my channel, Mr. Beast, like I always like to say. See you when I see you. Ah.